The pod-style carnival events have intrigued a few, but the cost to put on a taste of carnival has some citizens concerned. But according to NCC Chairman Winston Gypsy Peters, that concern is not justified. 30 million TT Trinidad and Tobago dollars is nothing to spend on us having a carnival, a taste of carnival. As a matter of fact, in Trinidad and Tobago, we probably spend the least amount of money on our carnival. According to him, 30 million TT dollars is not a lot of money for what is being done. We are spending 30 million dollars or thereabouts. To put on a carnival. I mean, I hear people talking about thirty million dollars, and and and, and, and we, the bed, the hospitality and bed, and you know they don't understand the significance of carnival. Not only to our country, but the carnival that we have given the world have become so important to the people of those countries and of those cities that they too cannot do without it. They want to take our place, and we are not understanding that. In fact, he says citizens must move away from the idea that carnival is just jump and wine. But the Trinidad and Tobago Promoters Association says while it embraces even the smallest concept of carnival, it is curious about how the $30 million will be spent. Based on our experience as promoters who would put on grand events with tens of thousands of people, for us as the, 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 in local parlance, the matter matter. Um, because to us, to put on the types of events with the number of people that we have been seeing in past NCC events, um, with those 28 events, of which a couple of them they propose to be totally virtual, we can't see that budget fit in that. Persia says based on the infrastructure needed to put on these events, he wonders whether there will be big prizes or donations to artists and entertainers. When we heard um, 200 pods, at, let's say, six to nine people in a pod. Even if it was 10 people in a pod, you're looking at 2,000 people in total. And then you have to ask yourself, okay, for a 2,000-person event, how much in, would that really cost in terms of infrastructure? And what is the return on your investment? Is it that we are spending this money here, our taxpayers' money, just to see that we're having something? Regardless, Persia says he plans on supporting the scaled-down shows and urged others to do so as well. The last big carnival show in Trinidad was in 2020. Approximately $160 million was allocated to be spent that year, just $20 million less than what was given in 2019. Pavita Kopolchan, CNC3 News.